Daniel Sire game I gotta go to. Alright. Well, I'll send you a friend the follow thingy. Alright. I'll be on a little probably later tonight. Okay. Yeah, I will too. How old are you? I'm 13. Twice as old as you, I'm 26. Dang. I see Oh, that's beautiful, ain't it? The start of a new friendship? Yeah, I know. Either that or Chris Hansen's Datelight NBC, something like that. I'm not too sure, but anyway, this is a series called Things I Hate. Um, you know, I actually have a lot of fun doing it because there's a lot of things that I don't like, which is crazy because if you asked me if I didn't like something, uh, I would probably tell you I don't, it's not. there's not many things I don't like, but truth be told, there's a lot of things that we don't like in our lives, but we just aren't conscious of it until it happens. Like, let me give you an example. Let me tell you some things that I don't like. Crocs, for example. Uh, people who wear Crocs annoy me because every time I ask them why they wear Crocs, even though it's the most ugliest shoe on the planet, they tell me that it's comfortable. And you'll get that answer every single time. And the truth is, they really don't know why they wear Crocs. Because nobody in their right mind will wear them things. They're ugly, honestly. They, they really are. And everybody I see whoever has them always gets roasted. Um, another thing that's a pet peeve of mine is people who try to act funny when they're not funny. It's obviously the worst thing known to man. Uh, there's girls that are like that too. Like, I, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Vine, go to comedy section, and just look at the people on there and see what I'm talking about. It's really just, it's, it's atrocious. Um, try hard parents. Have you ever been in public? Have you ever been in a restaurant or maybe Walmart or something and the parent is, put that shit back, Timmy! Like, get the kid the toy. You know what I mean? I feel like, honestly, I feel like if it happens to me, now, like uh, at this day and age, um, I would honestly say, Timmy, get that toy, I'll yeah, buy it for you. Like, people, now. parents who are, I don't know, they're, they're, too, they're too try hard, you know? Mean or, or, or overprotective. Um, j just a lot of stuff, you know, stuff like that. It really bothers me. Uh, Skip Bales. I don't know if you guys know Skip Bales uh, from ESPN. He, he, he annoys me. I think he's the most uh, obnoxious white devil on the planet. And, uh, but for some reason they have him there, and I guess people like him because it's entertainment. Um, moving on. Old people who take security to the next level. Now, I don't care how old you are or who you are, whether you're a male or a female, you've experienced an old person take their job as security to the next level. For instance, I walked in my Walmart, went to the electronics, got one of these little, uh, it was actually my little network card for my, my other computer. And as I'm walking out, fully paid for, receipts in the bag, uh, you know, the alarm goes off because they didn't fully scan it. And guess what? I pay the piper. I got this old lady tripping over her ankles and shit, fucking dust coming out of her, her heels to come up on me and ask me if, if I'm stealing something. It was just, it was just, to me it was obnoxious. I was like, lady, I have one bag, you know, I'm not trying to steal anything, it's, it's, it's a joke. And she just yanked the bag out of my hand. It was just, it was just a really bad experience for me. So, old people who take security to the next level is, uh, is definitely annoying. Um, I, I honestly can't stand the night before catching a flight. Uh, there's something about it. I don't know if it's nerves. I don't know if it's, like, anxiousness. If anxiousness is even a word, I'm not sure. But, you know, you get anxious. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's... Uh, I'm scared. I don't know. But once I get on the plane, it's a lot easier. I settle down. Um, so catching a flight the night before and the morning of is, is really is really kind of frustrating to me uh, Socializing I'm not really good at socializing in big groups like meeting new people I'm not one to meet new people if you guys know me You know that I'm kind of st I stick to myself and I have a small group. It's not because I'm anti-social It's just that I don't like meeting new people um, The process is just it's corny to me like hey, how you doing like everybody's so fake. Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah, I, I do this I do that. That's my job um, you know, stuff like that is pretty annoying. I don't like meeting new family members, like, for the first time. I don't know if you guys have family like that. Like, back in the day when the family used to visit, it was kind of it's kind of um, awkward. I, I don't like awkward situations, but I do tend to try to make the best out of the awkward situations. Um, I don't like buying gas. I don't know why. I just feel like I'm being gypped every time I go there. I feel like it's, it's like... L let, me, let, me, let me tell you a story. So... 
I was buying, I went, I, I needed gas, but I went past my local Walmart. It's where I usually get gas from. And it said it was like, uh, you know, three, three forty-five. And then on the way back, I was driving home and I was going to stop and get gas. And it went from three forty-five to three fifty-seven, like automatically. And I was just like, I don't know. I feel every time I go there, I feel like I'm getting gypped. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Um, one of the last things I hate for this video, I hate fucking clowns, man. When I was a kid, I watched it, and I literally didn't take a bath for like two weeks. I sat on the toilet and ran the shower and told my mom I was showering, but I really wasn't. Because I was deathly afraid that fucking it was gonna come out of the drain pipe and just grab me and suck me down the drain. I, you know, it was just ridiculous. I always used to put like a rag underneath it and, and make sure that it wasn't, you know, visible to my my eyes. I don't know. It, it was just a really bad experience for me. And if you guys had that same fear, if you guys have any of these uh, things in common, please share them in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.